FX presents The Old Man. In Afghanistan, they called him the beast that eats everything. You're about to drive this to a place you're not going to like. Academy Award winner Jeff Bridges. You have no idea what I did, who I was. Golden Globe winner John Lithgow. This is not something to underestimate. Amy Brennan. It matters to me that you make it out alive. Bell for is defending things that need to defend me. FX is the old man. Premieres June 16th on FX. Stream on Hulu. The Mina Kimes Show featuring Lenny. Let's talk about the box. For me, my concern with this team, I would just say, like, yeah, the secondary has at times been a problem. A lot of that has to do with help, but offense has had success picking on the weak links. <coughs> Sean Murphy Bundy. Mm-hmm. Or, um, you know, in this case, whoever's coming in at safety. I think it's going to be very similar to the Bucks defense we've seen in recent years, where it's extremely blitz heavy and really counts on that front seven to get home. Listen and subscribe to The Mina Kimes Show featuring Lenny, wherever you listen to podcasts. Bart and Hawk. I'm just going to read you a headline from a story that Mike Reese has on ESPN.com. Patriots teammates say Mac Jones' leadership at, quote, another level. He's just more locked in, more secure in his position. What's the next level from nothing? <laughs> okay, it's another level. That, what does that mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he was a rookie last year. He couldn't be a leader. Barton Hahn, weekdays at noon Eastern on ESPN Radio and on ESPN+. Plus. With Jay Reynolds. Sports Center All Night presented by Progressive Insurance. Women's College World Series in Oklahoma City. One of the better events out there. Wednesday, the best of three championship series getting underway. Big 12 showdown between top seeded Oklahoma and unseeded Texas. Good news for the Longhorns. They score on the top of the first inning, took a 1 0 lead. Bad news for the Longhorns. Oklahoma hadn't batted yet. Alo gets a hold of one, and Oklahoma grabs the lead. A two-run Jello shot. And she ties her own record from last year's World Series with her fourth home run here. Sooners wind up scoring five in the bottom of the first, and they wouldn't be done. Jerry Jennings lifts one. Left center back it goes. Another three-run home run. Double digits for OU. Four total home runs between the two of you. Jocelyn, how did you get it started there in the first inning? Um, I think just knowing what it was that Dulcine was going to do and just continuing to stick to the game plan and just continuing to trust the process. Terry, what's it like when you're getting up, she's hitting home runs, and you're following it up with the same kind of production? Yeah, she just inspires me and fires me up. So when I know she's on, I know I have to be on, and we kind of just work our, together and do whatever we can to, do, to score our team. Allo Jennings with our Holly Rowe. They both homer. They each go yard twice in game one. They go a combined seven for eight, four homers, Eight RBI, Oklahoma rolls in game one of the championship series, 16 to 1. There is no run rule in the championship series, by the way. Oklahoma hitting six homers as a team. They take the opener. Game two is Thursday. Sooners can clinch the championship with another win on Thursday. Texas trying to force a game three on Friday. Game two, Thursday, 7 o'clock Eastern on ESPN2. From the softball diamond to baseball, Angels have been struggling. They've even changed up their manager, but it really hasn't helped to this point. And here's the 0-2 pitch. He takes one that was way high around his eyes. The fastball struck him out, and the ball game is over. So the Red Sox come away with the victory tonight. They blank the Angels 1-0 here at the Big A. Angels shut out here uh, tonight at Angel Stadium. And as a result, that is the third time the Angels have been shut out in the last six games. And the losing streak continues at 14 in a row. Angels Radio AM 830, 1-0 the final. 14 straight losses passes the 1985 Cubs for the longest losing streak by a team that was 10 games or more above 500 when the losing streak began. 14 straight losses, longest losing streak in team history. Red Sox on the other end, 
One nothing win. That's now seven straight wins. Their longest win streak this season. Twins an eight one win over the Yankees. Twins fourteenth game this season scoring eight runs or more. New York's lone run, not from an Aaron Judge home run, but there have been enough of those this season. Twenty two to date. He's on pace for sixty five ish. Lining up for a rather hefty payday. ESPN insider Buster Olney. I think he'll get over $300 million because I think there will be an owner-inspired...